Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to create a Roku account. So when you're activating your Roku streaming device or Roku TV, you might run into this page where it asks you if you have a Roku account. So I'm going to show you where you can do this through Roku's website. So over at Roku.com, what you're going to want to do is click the option where it says sign in. And in the sign in area, it gives you the option to create a free Roku account. So we're going to do that by clicking this button where it says create account. And I'll link this sign up page down in the video description if you'd like to get easy access to it. So to create your Roku account, what you're going to do is enter in the email address that you want associated with your Roku account, your first and last name, a password, birthday, gender, and then check this box if you agree to the terms and conditions and have read the privacy policy. And once you do that, confirm that you're not a robot and then you can click continue here at the bottom. After that, you can choose your PIN preference, so essentially requiring a PIN to make purchases and add channels to your Roku. You can also limit this to just having a required PIN to make purchases, or if you don't want a PIN on any of these options, you can select that option here as well. Once you click your preference, then you can click continue. And then setting up Roku Pay, essentially this is adding a payment method, a credit or a debit card, or linking a PayPal account. And this is going to save a payment method in your Roku account so that you can easily start free trials, subscribe to streaming services, or buy and rent movies when you're using your Roku player. And after entering in that information, you can save and continue at the bottom. After that, it says that my payment information has been updated and it takes me to my account page. You can update your account information if you need to do so right here. You can also update your PIN preferences and updating your payment method if you'd like to do that at some point. You have some additional options here to manage your Roku account as well, such as adding a channel with a code. You can manage your subscriptions, view your purchase history, view and activate offers and free trials. And this is also going to be the area where you can deactivate your account if you need to do that at some point in the future. So I hope this video is helpful walking you through the steps on how to create a Roku account. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, and I'll catch you back here next time.